first phase we're going to be dealing with the regular users of the port the brokers the agents etc and what we have is a color coded system where the different categories of workers and visitors will have different color vests to donate designate who they are and that way at a distance you will know who they are and where they if they should be in a certain area the second phase we will have is we will then be looking at similar safety vests for the users who are not regulars on the port. So persons that may come once in a while to clear a barrel, for instance, that will be the second phase of the program. And in the final phase, we're looking at parking on the compound that people are park in areas that are safe. That was Ian Evans, port manager at the Grenada Port Authority, as he speaks about the port's new safety initiative that will be implemented in the month of March. The initiative is aimed at improving port operations and minimizing the risk of injuries at all ports in the state of Grenada. Stakeholders and regular visitors of the port will be required to fit themselves with the proper vests and other PPEs when on port compounds. Customers coming in to clear their barrels and other small cargo will be fitted with vests, complements the Port Authority with no cost for now. Franklin Redhead, General Manager of the Grenada Port Authority, says the practice of lingering at the port has become an issue that also needs to be curbed. People wander through the, 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 the port environment. I mean, you may find someone show up for a particular purpose, but you know, given the culture of Grenada, you know, people, people drift. So I'm mean, trying to discourage drifting. Um, so you come for a specific purpose, you, you engage with the appropriate personnel, and then you leave the facility um, through, the, through the appropriate routes. <laughs> Peter Gay Price Busley, safety officer at the Grenada Port Authority, gave statistics of the reported injuries recorded so far. Since we commenced officially, um, we've been over 400 days without a lost time accident. However, um, in terms of the injury rates, um, we, it's inclusive of um, damages to both assets and the personnel. And um, as it relates to personnel, the statistics shows that it's mainly first aid cases. The implementation of the Port Authority's safety initiative will kick off on February 19th with a church service and will end on March 3rd with an official launch. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.